Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Miraj Mirajuddin. I'm the student of MSc Chemistry, and uh, today my topic is synthesis and characterization of some sniff bases catalyzed by tamarind juice and lemon juice in an eco-friendly method. Before I start. The one thing that is really very common it is time to feel proud on yourself dr terry collin the professor of chemistry carnage Mellon university said few lines i just want to read in front of you the chemistry has an important role to play in achieving a sustainable civilization on earth wow great we all are part of this. We all are chemistry. So it's time to proud on ourselves. We are know this civilization and we will going to contribute in this field. Thank you very much. In the contents, we have the definitions, M objectives, introductions, method, result, discussion, conclusion, differences and our aims are synthesis of sniff bases in presence of natural acid like tamarind juice and lemon juice characterizations of synthesized sniff bases and benzylidine aniline and n benzylidine urea the screening of antibacterial activity of both the sieve bases in the definition as this all the work we did it's related to the green chemistry so it is very important to first of all I just start my presentation by the definition of the green chemistry green chemistry is the utilization a set of principles that producer produces or eliminate the use or generations of hazardous substances in design manufacture and applications of chemical products in the introduction the green chemistry the green chemistry is a branch of chemistry which involves tool techniques and technologies it plays very 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 important roles for the help of the chemist and the chemical engineers by the method of green chemistry we use those tools and methodologies by which the byproduct produced or the other products of subsolvent free reactions take place in that it does not affect the quality of the environments or not really harm the health of the chemist green chemistry is one of the best way to synthesize the organic compounds in solvent free conditions in this the natural acids or natural fruits juice were used as a catalyst or it avoid the use of reagents and organic chemicals and the reagents th those will proceed the reactions and the byproducts by those methods are uh, is obtained is toxic and very badly and dangerous and dangerously toxic to the environment and the health of the chemist and the other living things on earth the advantages of the green chemistry is it is a very selective selectively take place the reactions and the product is obtained is very purified and active sieve bases the sieve bases was reported by first by hugo sniff in 1864 these compounds are called amines and contains azomethane bonds general formula of the sieve bases are here it is con it is the con condensed compounds of the aldehydes and the amines the present interest in this chemistry is it because the sieve bases are biologically similar structure have the similar structure biologically similar structures like the biological compound so it takes the interest 
and scientists are studying on it for a half of the century. These are the structures of the compounds. The one, the first one is the structure of n benzylidine amine, and the other one is the structures 3D structures of n benzylidine urea. In the method, in the green way of the synthesis. To synthesize the n benzaldehyde aniline, equimolar amounts of the benzaldehyde and the aniline are added with natural acid and the stirred for 1 hour. Then, on completion of the reaction, paleo product is obtained. In the thin synthesis of n benzaldehyde urea, equimolar amount of benzaldehyde and urea are added with natural acid and stirred for half an hour. On the completion of the reaction, cellulose spice product is obtained. These both the reactions take place in solvent free condition and at room temperature. These are the two reactions in which the benzaldehyde reacts with amine aniline in the presence of natural acids and N benzylidine amine is obtained. In the other one, the benzaldehyde reacts with the ammonia, the presence of natural acid, and finally, N benzaldehyde amine is obtained. The result in the synthesis of sieve bases, N benzaldehyde aniline and N benzaldehyde urea were obtained by Green method. Carbonyl group of benzaldehyde behaves as electro electrophile, and the amine group of the aniline and urea. Behaves as nucleophile. The reaction of synthesis is completed in two steps. In the first step, protonation of carbonyl oxygen takes place, and intermediate carbonyl amine is formed. Then, in next step, carbonyl amine loses a water molecule by natural acid pathways. These reactions take place in solvent free condition. Here, we synthesize both the compounds on the pre presence of marine water and lemon juice. N benzylidine aniline and N benzylidine urea were obtained. These both the compounds were recrystallized by the minimum amount of the ethanol and then dried. In the mechanism of the green methods of the synthesi synthesized N benzylidine aniline or SNP base, in these the aldehyde is attacked by acid. And a cation is formed. This cation reacts with amine and carbonyl amine. amine is formed, ion is formed. This carbonyl amine ion then reacts with acid and carbonyl amine ion is formed, which on removal of the H2O gives a SNP base. In the mechanism of method to synthesize N benzylidine urea sieve base, the same process is proceed and cation is formed. This cation reacts with ammonia and carbonyl amine is ion is formed, which on removal of in the second step it removes the water molecules and the SNE base is formed. Yield of N benzylidine aniline and N benzylidine urea in the presence of tamarine water and lemon juice. Comparatively, comparative yield of N benzylidine aniline and N benzylidine urea in the presence of tamarine water and the lemon juice. Here you can see in the presence of 0.5 ml of tamarine water or urea, the amount of N benzylidine aniline yield and the N benzylidine urea yield percentage is formed. So, in 0.5 percent of tamarine water, 92.38 percent N benzylidine aniline is formed and the N benzylidine urea is formed 93.93 percent. In the case of lemon, here 89.82 percent is formed and in the case an N benzylidine urea yield 89.22 percent. 
the yields of n benzylidine aniline of 10 with tamarind water and lemon juice in this condition as the various amount of the catalyst is used to proceed the reactions then it affects the yield yield of the product of the compound so as the amount of the e catalyst increases the amount of the yield is decreased it can be seen in this table the same thing happens with the other compounds that is n benzylidine urea these are the physical characteristics of the product as we know the physical properties of the compounds are those it is it is pale yellow and the first compound that is n benzylidine aniline is pale yellow disagreeable disagreeable smell crystallized solid and the melting point is 50 54 degrees centigrade and n benzylidine urea is yellowish white and disagreeable smell crystalline solid and the melting point is 74 degrees centigrade Along with these, these compounds are insoluble in water and soluble in ethanol, methanol and chloroform. These are stable at room temperature and decomposes at high temperatures. These are non-hydroscopics. The other one is the spectral characterization. In the spectral characterization, N benzylidine is obtained is pale yellow. It has the mass spectra peak M upon Z at 180.1 and the N benzylidine urea has the mass spectra peak at 148.1. The IR stretching of C dual bond N1 for the amine bond for the benzaldehyde aniline it is 6, 1625 and for the N benzaldehyde urea it is 1640 cm reversible. In the antibacterial properties of the compound For the screening of N benzylidine aniline and N benzylidine urea against gram negative bacteria, two slides are used in the lab. In them, it was found N benzylidine aniline is active against E. coli and the N benzylidine urea is active against E. coli. Discussion In the all the study of green method for the synthesis of N benzylidine aniline and N benzylidine urea, the green methods gives a good quality product and the amount it takes a very short time to complete the reaction used natural acids are extracted from food which can very easily arranged from local market natural acids amount and used in the reaction affects the percentage of yield as the amount of catalyst increased percentage of yield increased the obtained product is non-toxic and synthesized without harming environment the synthesized SIF basis gave spectral data as required it shows antibacterial activity N benzylidine aniline is active and N benzylidine urea is inactive. The conclusion of the work is the work represents the importance of normal acid of fruits in chemical reactions and biocatalyst bio in organic transformation. As the use of natural fruits is growing in organic synthesis, 
due to their acidic properties, low cost, easy availability, environmental characters and enzymatic activities. As we studies this nat natural acids has many applications in the organic transformation such as the formation of the CC, C single bond and bonds in different synthetical important organic compounds. The present study reveals that the sieve base can be synthesized by the natural acid catalyst. The tamarind water and the lemon juice is used as natural acid catalyst and benzaldehyde, aniline and, be and benzaldehyde urea. Both are obtained in high quality and showed remarkable antibacterial properties. These are few references. Thank you.